Hey everyone, Mr. MCA here. I'm here with a lap guide for the two current lap time challenges. One of them taking place at Fuji International Speedway with the Group 3 cars, and the other one with the Alfa Romeo Giulia at Red Bull Ring. I'll have the time codes up for both lap time challenges right now, so if you want to skip over to that part of the video, you can go ahead and do so right now. But we're going to go ahead and get started with the Alfa Romeo Giulia at Robo Ring as this event ends a bit sooner than the other one. All right, so let's get started with this event, the Alfa Romeo Giulia at Rebel Ring. I'll have a link to the livery and the replay in the description down below if you want to check them out. So this event ends a little under six days from the recording of this video. So at the end of May 3rd, 2023, that's when this event ends. This is with a fully stock Alfa Romeo Giulia on the sports hard tires. And unlike the current Olympic lap time challenge right now, uh, the track limits here are set to normal so you can cheese the curves a bit more to shave off a bit more time. And your goal is to try to get within the 3% range of the world record time so that when the event ends, your lap time gets counted and you can hopefully get those 2 million credits when the event ends. So now let's go on over to the lap guide where with this car, you want to be a bit careful about how you drive it because this car is pretty lively and if you're doing really sudden harsh inputs, then this car will react accordingly. So just be careful with your input so the car doesn't act too crazy on you. So go ahead and bring yourself towards the left side of the track because you're braking when you reach the 150 meter board. So brake as much as you can, making your way down to third gear. And you want to use the 50 meter board as your turning point. So start to ease off of the brakes as you're turning in. So doing a bit of trail braking, when you hit the apex, Go up to fourth gear and carefully get on the throttle. And just trying to make sure your right wheels do not hit the yellow sausage curb. Otherwise, you risk getting an off track penalty. And as you saw me coming out of the first turn, the car wanted to step out a bit. So, as I mentioned earlier, you want to be careful with your inputs so the car doesn't get all crazy on you. But, anyways, you're braking as close as you can to the 150 meter board, making your way down to second gear. And do note that I go a bit on the curves to give myself a bit more space for the turn in, which is before the curb on the left ends. So the car will slide around a bit, and as you hit the apex, go up to third gear, and you want to be really gradual getting under throttle because it's really easy for the car to generate a lot of wheel spin as you're coming out of the hairpin. Then bring yourself towards the left side of the track as you're braking just before you reach the 150 meter board. Brake as much as you can in a straight line. I do not suggest braking on the curves as that will actually add more braking distance. Turn in before the curb on the left ends. Going down to third gear. And just try to be really gradual as you make your way into this turn. Really easy to slide around too much and scrub off too much speed. As you're coming out of the turn, just be really gradual with your throttle input to make sure that the car doesn't step out on you too much. Then bring yourself towards the right. You're braking at around the 75 meter mark. So full braking power, going on to fourth gear, turning in before the curb on the right ends. And just be careful because this is where the Julia will want to slide around a bit. Just trying to stay as close as you can to the curb on the left. As you hit the apex, be nice and gradual on the throttle. This is where the car can get really twitchy as you see right now. Stay on fourth gear and you're braking when the green stuff on the right ends. That is also your turning point, so brake hard for a very short moment. And just do a little bit of braking control to make sure that you're not going into this turn way too fast. Get the car straightened up for the next section of the track, that way you don't need to do too much throttle control. Then bring yourself towards the left side of the track. You're looking for the 100 meter board as you're going to brake before you pass it. Make your way down to fourth gear and you're using the 50 meter board as your turning point. So once you reach right here, this is where you start to turn in. Go down to fourth gear, ease off of the brakes as you're turning in. So doing a bit of trail braking, a little bit of throttle control to keep the car nice and stable. 
take advantage of the curves on the left and break before the Austrian flag on the left ends. Stay on fourth gear, turning in before the curb on the left ends and take advantage of the red and white curb that is on the right side of the track. And just be nice and careful getting on the throttle. Try to get the car pointing towards the start finish line as soon as you can so you can fully accelerate your way out. So in a moment, we'll go ahead and get started with the lap guide again, but this time I will not stop the video. All right, so here we are getting ready to start the new lap. You do need to brake pretty early with the Julia as we're on sports hard tires. Uh, braking at the 150 meter board, go down to third gear, turning in at the 50 meter board, up to fourth gear as you hit the apex, and just be nice and careful getting on the throttle as the car gets pretty twitchy with harsh and sudden inputs. Just rev the heck out of this car, bring yourself towards the left side of the track, brake just before you reach the 150 meter board, go down to second gear for a bit more, turn in, go up to third gear as you exit the hairpin, just be nice and careful getting on the throttle as this is where the car can get really twitchy if you're not careful. Then bring yourself towards the left side of the track, once again braking just before you reach the 150 meter board, go down to third gear and Again, just like the last hairpin, you want to be really careful getting on the throttle. This is where the car can get really twitchy, so you don't want to ruin your momentum. Break at around the 75 meter mark, going down to fourth gear. This is where the car can get a bit slidey, so just be careful about that. Stay on fourth gear. Again, you can just see the car getting a bit twitchy right there. Uh, stay on the left side of the track, trying to get yourself set up to go through the next section of the track flat out. Just try not to turn in too much so the car doesn't get too twitchy. Brake just before the 100 meter board. Going on to fourth gear, turning in at the 50 meter board. A little bit of throttle control, take advantage of the curves. Brake before the Austrian flag ends. And again, take advantage of the curves. Get the car pointing towards the start finish line and fully accelerate your way out. And with this, I was able to get a 138.701. So in a moment, you'll see my sector times for this lap time challenge. So feel free to compare it with your lap times, your sector times. But now let's go ahead and get started with the next lap guide, which is any group three car at Fuji International Speedway. I did try to use the newer AMG, but I mean, that car felt all right. But for me, the Porsche 99 RSR, I was able to gel a lot better with that car. But anyways, with this event, it ends at the end of May 10, 2023. BOP is on for this race, tuning is disabled, and we're only on the racing hard tires. And again, you can use any Group 3 car. And I'll have the replay available in the description down below if you want to check it out in-game. Or you can use the in-game tags that I'll have shown right here. And just like with the Rubble Ring Lap Time Challenge, your goal is to get within the 3% time range when the event ends, as that's when your lap time will be counted, and if your lap time stays in the goal time range, then you'll get those 2 million credits. But now let's get started with the lap guide, and again, I'm in the Porsche 911 RSR. With this car, you want to rev the heck out of it, so use every single rev that this car has. Bring yourself towards the left side of the track, Stay on 5th gear and brake just as you pass the 150 meter board. Brake as much as you can in a straight line and you're looking for the 50 meter board as that's going to be your turning point. Make your way down to 1st gear as you'll be using the 1st gear for a bit more rotation but you're going to exit on 2nd gear. So ease off the brakes as you're making your way to the apex of doing a bit of trail braking then go to 2nd gear and carefully accelerate your way out. Then bring yourself towards the right side of the track. Look for the 100 meter board as that is your next braking point. You're using nearly all of your braking power for a short moment, starting to turn in at the 75 meter mark, which is this orange marker on the right. Going on to third gear for a bit more rotation. And as you hit the apex, carefully get on the throttle, taking advantage of the red and white curves as you're still within track limits. But stay towards the right side of the track because you want to ease off our throttle as you approach the path that is on the right. Using a little bit of braking to try to stay towards the right side of the track. And as you approach this path on the right, that's where you want to get on the throttle. 
then try to bring yourself towards the right side of the track because you're using the 75 meter mark, which is this orange marker, as your next braking point. Brake as much as you can, turning in at the 50 meter bar, so this is where you start to turn left, making your way down to first gear for a bit more rotation, but exit on second gear. So as soon as you hit the apex of the hairpin, go up to second gear and carefully get on the throttle. Then bring yourself towards the right side of the track for these two smaller turns, but then bring yourself towards the left side of the track. And you want to brake just as you go under the big Dunlop sign. So this is exactly where I start to brake, brake as much as you can, making your way down to first gear. Start to turn in before you reach the white marker that is on the left and take advantage of the runaway curves as you are still within track limits. Go up to second gear as you hit the apex, doing a little bit of throttle control to try to set yourself up for the next section of the track. So you want to try to get yourself pointing towards the baller just up ahead and fully accelerate your way out, but bring yourself towards the left side of the track because you're braking before the grass on the left ends. So you're using around 35 to 40% braking power, turning it almost immediately, and just trying to be really careful with your throttle input as it's really easy to spin out over here. Then brake when the curb on the left is just about to end, but you're going to do a lot of braking control, uh, turning in as you're slowing down. So doing a bit of trail braking, going on to first gear for a bit more rotation, then go up to second gear as you hit the apex and you want to try to go for a late apex out of this turn and the final turn as that'll give you a bit of a better exit out of these two turns. But anyways, you're braking as you pass the path that is on the right and this is just like the last turn. So using around 25% braking power, going on to first gear for a bit more rotation, trying to go for a late apex and for the final turn, you can use this marker on the right as your apex. Go up to second gear as you exit the turn and get on the throttle as soon as you can. And just rev the heck out of this car. And in a moment, we'll go through all this again, but this time I will not stop the video. All right, so in a moment, we're just about to get started. Here we go, so stay towards the left side of the track gonna look for the 150 meter board as that's gonna be the first braking point brake as much as you can turning in at the 50 meter board go down to first gear for a bit more rotation but exit on second gear be really careful on the throttle as you exit the first turn then look for the 100 meter board that is your next braking point turning in at around the 75 meter mark trying to maintain your your momentum then Ease off of the throttle as you go through this long right turn using a little bit of braking if you need to. But then brake at around the 75 meter mark for the hairpin. Go down to first gear for more rotation but exit on second gear. And just like the first hairpin, be careful getting on the throttle as you make your way out. Then look for the big Dunlop sign as you're braking just as you go under it. Go down to first gear, take advantage of the red and white curves as they are still within track limits. A little bit of throttle control needed as you go through the chicane. Brake when the grass on the left ends. Just trying to maintain your momentum. Nice and careful on the throttle so you don't spin out. Brake when the curb on the left ends. Trying to go for a late apex. Go down to first gear for more rotation. But exit on second gear. Then brake when the path on the right ends. And this is just like the previous turn where you use first gear for more rotation but exit on second gear. Just trying to be really careful on the throttle, trying to go for a late apex. And that is it for this lap guide and, well, both lap guides actually. Uh, with this current lap guide, I was able to get a 139.766. So hopefully these two lap guides help you out in getting closer or even reaching the gold medal time ranges. But that's all from me. So. Take care, everyone. Thank you for the support. Here are special thanks to the channel members as well. And that is all for me. So take care, everyone. This is Mr. MCA, and I'll see you in the next video.